Hello, hello, everybody. We are starting a new drawing today. This is Zoe, beautiful boxer, another beautiful boxer. I can't get enough, you know, just can't get enough. See, let me get my materials. If you're on, please say hi. What's up, Jay? First one on, Rip Raw. What's going on, Rip Raw and Jay? You guys are awesome. How are you today? How was your weekend? Here, let me adjust this. All right, let's go. One minute in. <laughs> ah. right, I need my black pencil. And let's us sharpen. Let us sharpen. Always start with a sharp pencil. <laughs> I'm going to start with the ears because, you know, floppy ears of boxers are the best. You doing good, Rip Raw? Good. Are you still going live today? Is that still on? I'm gonna start off with a dark darks. Always start with a dark darks. Just block them in. Block it all in, block it all in. It's like a map, you know. You're start you're also starting your last commission, Jay. Very nice, very nice. What are you working on, Jay? And uh, hopefully you're gonna take a break. Oh, yay, Rip Raw is going live. You're going live on YouTube, right, Rip, Rip Raw? Not Twitch. So there's a lot of shadows underneath the ear because uh, Zoe's backlit in the photo. Gabe, what's up? Hey, man, how are you? Thanks for joining. Oscar is in the mail and hopefully he will arrive by tomorrow. I have heard, Gabe, that there are delays with a postal service. So I'm praying, praying you're one of the lucky ones and your package is delivered on time. Putting down my first layer of darks. Dog artist, you're also starting a new dog, a Doberman named Maya. Nice dog artist. I'm excited for you. Dobermans are beautiful. Good for you. You're drawing a building. Interesting, Jay. 
What building are you drawing? Dog artist, is this uh, a commission that you're finishing up? Or starting, I should say. There's lots of darks here. So many darks. It's all good, it's all good. Ooh, that's nice, a Christmas present for your bestie, that's so nice. See, handmade gifts are the best. Especially art gifts. Yeah, Twitch doesn't seem to let me stream every time I stream on there, it glitches and won't load for me. Oh no, Ripra. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you contact uh, have you contacted their help desk, customer service. They need to remedy that for you. You know? You need to be able to stream. Fill in this dark area with a shade of black. There are some dark browns in there, so I don't want to shade it too dark because you want to be able to mix, mix other colors in there. You need to share, share the real estate. You drew your aunt's dog yesterday. I sent it to you on email. Oh, okay. I'll check it out. Cool, thanks for uh, emailing me your uh, latest portrait. Yeah, Ripra, you need to uh, talk to somebody about your Twitch issues. Because, you know, you, you're, you need to share your talents with the world. So the ears are very complicated inside a dog's ear. There's many folds and curvatures and nooks and crannies. So just take it slow. Look at your reference photo. A lot more darks here. Oh, see? See how my pencil needs to be sharpened again? Definitely need to sharpen. Okay, uh, what else, what else? There's definitely more. Darks in here. 
Yes, Jay, I saw your horse. Beautiful, beautiful drawing you have done, sir. It's awesome, man. You're getting better and better every time you draw something. Your last commission is the best one I've done ever. Pretty proud of it. Oh, good for you, dog artist. Yeah, see? See how you're improving every time you finish a drawing? Progress. It's all about progress, guys. All right, Rip Bra. Are you guys ready for the holidays? I'm looking forward to some rest and relaxation, some R&R. &R. You took a good break and I think that helped a lot. Okay, dog artist, nice. Very nice. Yeah, that too, you need breaks. You can't always uh, go 100 miles per hour, you know? You know, Jay? You know? Dog artist? I'm just adding some uh, very quick fur details here and here, here and there. It'll eventually all be uh, blended anyway, but I just want to add some just some indication that there's fur under there because that's what I do you can what Jay what is this what, what statement are you making you can what please clarify up here I just want to block that in okay show me this goes up a little bit more goes up a little bit more So the, the ear is highlighted over here. I'm gonna keep that white. Then we'll add some shadows later. Okay, okay, uh, let's see. So, let's darken that up a bit more. We'll probably go back in the ear and darken up certain sections. I just want to quickly, not quickly, block it in. Oop, sorry about that. Okay, I want to work on the eyes. Block in some beautiful eyes here. I want to zoom in on my photo real quick and uh, block in Zoe's beautiful eyes. Rip bra is back. You can go a hundred all the time, all gas, no brakes. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jay, Jay, Jay. I don't think so, man. Don't burn out, please. Don't burn out. 
It is the worst feeling in the world to uh, blurt burnout. Um, going around the eye and uh, blocking in all the dark shadows that I'm seeing. Just focusing on the black tone. I got two large gray tone sketchbooks. I need a racer and Prismacolor. I, I helped a lot. Nice, dog artist. Yes, early Christmas presents. I love it. Yes, yes, you definitely need materials to do your art. I am so happy. You have the tools and the materials to create because you need to feed your soul, you know? You need to serve your customers with the right tools and materials. I'm excited for you. I love new art materials. They're the best. So there are very dark shadows in the eye. Let's um, make them out. Let's see here, I blocked them in. I didn't do a good job, but I'm just gonna look at my reference photo and eyeball it, which is what you need to do sometimes. Okay, good, Jay. I'm glad you're taking a break. See, sometimes I don't know. I don't know if you're joking or not, you know? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell when I'm just reading comments. But thank you. Thank you for taking a break because you need it. You need to rest your hands. You need to rest your body, your soul. And do other things. Spend time with family. That all feeds the soul. So you could do better art. More art. Later. Cannot believe it's 2021 soon crazy crazy year 2020 it was so i'm gonna block in the bottom of the eyes because there's a lot of shadow there I'm just going to block in the outline. I don't want to go too dark because they're brown eyes and I want to use dark brown, dark brown colors, you know, you know, okay. Two thousand twenty has been one of your best years. Oh, okay, Jay, good for you. I'm glad that happened because not many people can say that about two thousand twenty. But I'm so happy you had the best year of your life. Why is that, Jay? What happened to you in two thousand twenty? Okay, so there's lots of dark shadows 
around the eyes. So let's block that in. Oh, you had the best year in art. Ah, okay, yeah. I must say me too. <laughs> I got some really cool commissions this past year. Maybe the pandemic helped a little bit in that because people were home and they had extra money to uh, spend on decor art and for their fur babies, for their animals. So that was, that was nice that they chose me, you know. It's always, always an honor. You just started drawing this year, Jay? Wow. That's amazing, man. But you've drawn before, I'm assuming, right? You're talking about like, um, drawn commissions for people, is that what you mean? Because you have, unless you're just like, you're just innately talented and you just picked up a pencil and uh, started drawing masterpieces, which is, you know, which, which can happen too. Art prodigy, that's what I call you. Just blocking in some of this fur details, one line at a time. Mucho importante, one line at a time. That's how you get that realistic fur texture in there. Ah, oh, you took it seriously this year. Yes. Yes, I could tell. Well, good. We need more serious artists in the world. Or just more artists in the world. You don't have to be serious about it. You can just do it for fun. Lock in some of these grays. So when a tone is gray or lighter in tone, I don't fill it in all the way. I just give the impression of tone. Yet you need to make room for some light to enter through there. my other pencil. This pencil is, uh, is almost about to end. Oh, I had, I have more. Huh. I just had to make it longer. You started realism this year. I used to just do little ugly <laughs> dog artists. I'm sure they weren't ugly sketches. Don't say that. Well, I'm happy you started realism, dog artist. Just So there are these darker um, markings around the eyes with boxers. I call them the boxer mask. So I just want to block these in with some fur texture. Oh, 
No, they, no, they weren't dog artists. <laughs> You're funny. Art is art. Don't call it ugly. It was just a stepping stone to where you're supposed to be now, dog artist. You know, you know. So I'm just gonna do a light, very light layer of, of black tone. Again, because this is going to be more dark brown and gray. Just leave room for more color to get in there. You never really drew before this year, Jay? I was that class clown in class never play on... Ah, oh, okay. All right, Jay. All right, so now you're focused. Good to know. There is a very slight darker tone around this bottom eyelid, so I want to just block that out before I forget that it's there. Okay, okay. Okay, dog artist, we're just going to have to uh, agree to disagree. <laughs> well, I'm happy you started realism. Drawing dogs more realistically is, uh, is a huge challenge. So good for you for taking on this challenge. So there's like a highlight on this, this area. So I'm just gonna sporadically add fur textures here and there, but don't fill it in, don't fill it in. Leave it mostly white. See, that's how you create highlights. Even the highlights are shadows, but then it's mostly the white of the paper. You see that? You see how that happens? That's right, Jay. Self-taught. That's right, Jay. Hard work, teaching yourself, learning. That's what I'm talking about. You're happy, right, dog artist? Isn't it a fun, fun thing to do? Okay, that's pretty good for the eyes for now. Just want to add a couple of more fur details here and there just to block in areas where there is darker shadows in the fur. Zoe's actually a brindle dog, so there's these uh, random markings all around. It's like tiger like markings. My Bella is also a brindle, so I love drawing brindles. Oh, it's okay, Ripra. That's all good. You don't have to 
I'm glad that you're watching and doing your homework at the same time. Hopefully I'm not distracting you too much. Can we zoom in a little bit? So, boxers have uh, all sorts of wrinkles on their beautiful faces. So, let us capture them. One that goes down right here and meets up with this wrinkle. Let's just block that in. And then there's another one right here. Lock that in. Make sure it's uh, a lot darker, almost black, because we want these highlights around the wrinkle to pop. Oh, good, I'm not distracting Ripra. And it's actually calming. Oh, very nice. Thank you. I'm glad it's calming you. There's another mini, mini wrinkle. Just very slight over here. Okay, and then there's another one closer to the nose. Goes around like so, like this. I'm constantly looking at my reference photo for guidance. So there is a highlight of a whisker up here. Just want to draw a line there just to remind me that it is there. Okay. One, two, three wrinkles down. I think now I want to. Take a break from the whiskers and, I mean, the wrinkles and block in the nose. Yeah, let's block in some of the nose. There's definitely dark areas. Just fixing my reference photo so I could see everything. Usually do the inner nostrils first because it is the darkest tone on the nose and then underneath the nostrils outline it like so and just fill it in this gives me a guide to where everything else falls as far as shape and tonal quality. And I'm gonna do the other nostril. And 
trying to find this line that goes underneath. Make sure that really dark under there. And there's shadows under here, but it's not as dark as this corner. I just fill it in lightly with a shade. There's actually some reflections going on under there. So don't go too dark. Don't forget about the reflections. That really adds another layer of depth to your drawings, to add these reflections inside, underneath the shadows. I need to sharpen my pencil again. I told you I was doing a drawing for you. What do you want it to be? Oh. Oh, I thought, uh, what did we say? The last uh, time on, on the stream, was it like food or something? I forget now. I think I was hungry at the time and you were like, oh, I'll draw you some waffles or something. I'm like, sure. I love drawings of food. Ah, there you go. Yes, yes. Ice cream. There you go. Melting ice cream. Yes, melting ice cream. I want to see that happen. Can we make that happen? So now uh, um, I usually go nostril, nostril, and then the center of the nose, there's usually very dark shadows because of the indentation. So let's block this in. And it's never a straight line because the nose is not shaped that way. It's very organic. Take the time to render these curvatures. You were just wondering if I wanted something different? Oh, I don't know, Ripra. I mean, if, if you want to draw something different, you can. I just want to see you draw. That, that's my main intention. I just want to see you draw live so you could start streaming live and make art for other people to see. Yeah. If you're in the mood to draw something else, go for it. I'm just happy to see you create. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then I'm just gonna go around the bottom of the lips, create some fur indentations. Not too dark, not too dark, not yet. There's also very tiny whiskers down here. That's why I'm going one line at a time to create some highlights for the whiskers. I don't want to fill it in all, all with black because it'll look weird if there are no whiskers under here. Oh, I don't mind a digital copy, Rip Raw. Yeah, I, I'm good with that. Yes. Save some money on shipping. And I get to have the copy sooner. Okay. I 
think I want to go around this area. I see a lot of dark shadows around the nose. Let's block these in just to give us more uh, guidance on where everything falls with the facial features. Yeah, right, brother. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just take a picture and then um, you could email it to me if you want. You have my email, right, Ripra? Okay, that's pretty good. And now I want to focus on the nose. There's a lot of texturing on the nose. Let's see if I could uh, move this camera a little bit closer. Oh, you don't have my email? Oh, it's, uh, here, let me type it. There you go. So Jay, I asked you um, earlier, what building are you drawing? I don't know if you answered me and I missed it. Sharpen my pencil again to do these, to do these uh, nose markings, textures. So these textures can be Kind of complicated, kind of crazy, but again, just take your time. Doesn't have to be exactly as you see it on the photo. People look at photos and they get overwhelmed with all the detail and then they end up not drawing it or finishing the drawing because they get scared or just they doubt their abilities. So I say don't focus on the end product, just focus on one section at a time. And again, it doesn't have to look exactly like the photo. My goal is just to create the texture of the nose, not do exact little tiny um, markings as I see it in the photo. I mean, I, I try to get close, but not to the exact T detail. I'm drawing the Statue of Liberty, but with a... Oh, that's right. The Houston downtown background. Got it. That's drawing you're working on. Cool. I thought this was a, a different drawing, Jay. You mind if I email you Ripra just so I remember you? Yes, of course, Ripra. Yes. I do not mind multiple emails.
And I'm just gonna fill in the nose with a shade of black. I'll fill in other colors on top later, a little bit later. Just wanna block in the main features. I'm just not doing it. I don't like being being rushed, so I honestly don't feel like doing it. Wait, what, Jay? You're not gonna do the drawing? I'm I'm confused, Jay. Okay, I blocked in some of these darker outlines of the shadows, but you can also make up your own if you like. There you go. So this top portion of the nose is um, has a lot of highlights. So I'm just blocking in the shadows around the highlights for now. We'll add more grays and light blues in there later. Okay, that's... Coming along, I uh, want to block in these shadows underneath the nostrils. So in this little section, there's very dark shadows and then a little, little reflective area here and then more dark shadows. And then it fades to a white highlight. So do your best to capture that and you're golden. See how that form just like pops out, it's like shadow, reflection, a little bit more shadow, and then highlight. I love, I love capturing those. Really makes your uh, drawing 3D when that's uh, seen in the photo. This dog is actually very well lit. I'm excited. Oh, you don't feel like doing it now. I see. I see, Jay. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, if you're not feeling like you're up to drawing in this moment in time, this present moment in time, then you should just step away. <clears throat> Do something else. You know? And when I don't feel like drawing or if I'm tired, I don't draw. I don't do it because it'll affect my drawing. Oh, good, Jay. Well, there you go. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you're taking a break from it and just watching me draw. <laughs> That's a great way to take a break, I must say. <laughs> 
that's what I do too. I take a break and um, I look at other artists online or I try to find new artists that are doing awesome work and follow them and learn from them, get inspired. That all feeds into your artistic process somehow. Oh, Jay, have I told you about this new colored pencil artist that I found on YouTube? I know, I've, I'm sure I mentioned it to people on Twitch, but I don't know if I've mentioned it to you, Jay. She does amazing, amazing colored pencil portraits of humans, of people, of uh, celebrities, mostly. Have I told you about her, Jay? I think her name is uh, Heather Rooney. Check her out when you guys can. Amazing. I want to be like her when I grow up. But for dogs, not... I love drawing dogs and uh, I want to do or create hyper realistic drawings of dogs like she does for humans. Oh, I haven't mentioned her. Okay, Jay, yeah, check her out. Her name is Heather Rooney, R-O-O-N-E-Y, I believe. She has over a million subscribers on YouTube, so she's legit. <laughs> she's been doing this a while. Amazing, amazing. Jono Dry is a dope pencil artist. Jono Dry, I don't know Jono Dry. Let me write this name down, Jono Dry. Is that the way? Dry? D-R-Y? I'll check him, her out. All right, Jay. See, it's good to have goals. That's right, Jay. You will get there. You will definitely get there. Yeah, see, there's always room for improvement. That's what my volleyball coach always used to say to us. There's always room for improvement. Never stop growing. You think you're uh, at your best? Nope, there's always room for improvement. He's a crazy charcoal artist. Nice. Ooh. Cool. I will check him out. I love charcoal. I haven't worked in it in a while. So, yeah. Let's get inspired and look at charcoal work. Ripra. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, okay, yeah, I couldn't hear you, so. All right, yeah, try that, earbuds. Definitely try that. Oh, I didn't know that, Jay, that you use only charcoal. Okay, cool. I thought you used some uh, graphite pencils. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break from the nose. I see some dark areas over here. Just want to fix my reference photo. Just make sure I'm looking at the right area.
read the message above the one you just made about the audio? You're going to wear earbuds, Rip Bra? Is that what you mean? There is a very dark shadow on this edge of the cheek. I think it's part of Zoe's body. Let's uh, block that in. Like so. And then there's some dark fur textures here. It's getting close to the mandibles area. Block that in. And then there's a highlight here, and then more dark fur goes down. The one above the earbuds? Do you mind if I email you saying, hey, it's Rip Raw, just so I remember email? Yes, uh, no, I don't mind Rip Raw. That's fine. That is totally fine with me. All those dogs and everything I do is charcoal. Oh, I didn't know that. Good to know. Now I'm just going to fill in the front of the lips with a shade of gray and uh, just block this in. It's mostly gray tone under here. Don't go too dark. Add more fur details. Like so. Oh, yeah, I didn't see. Uh, that's all the messages I see, Ripra. So camera-wise, I don't have a lot to work with, so you will see my face and every couple I'll show you the drawing. Okay, Ripra, that's cool. That sounds good. Sounds good to me. Let's see. Let's see. What was I working on? adding uh, for textures around here okay that's pretty good shape of the face is coming along There are some indications of white whiskers, white fur around here. So I'm going to mostly leave this area white for now. So 
So there, okay, so I'm trying to backtrack. So this is a wrinkle. Goes out a little bit more. There's a shadowed area here. Okay, and then more darker sh fur area here. I'm just double checking my reference photo and making sure I'm capturing all of these features best that I can. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty good. Let's see what else? What else can I work on? Lift this up a little bit more. more shadows definitely the center of the face You came for the dots. <laughs> E.B. Pele. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have any dots for you. Maybe next time I'll do a stippling. Today I'm doing colored pencils. I'm sorry to disappoint, E.B. Hopefully you come back for the dots. Trying to look at everything I have here. I think there's definitely one to block in some uh, some brindle markings on top of the forehead. Yay, Evie Pele! Thanks for following. And yes, I will be back for the dots. I'd love to do a stippling. You guys would uh, like that if I do a stippling live. It's very tedious and uh, time consuming. You guys would watch that if I did dots, like, like here, like. So I. Like, if I were to do this with, real quick, if I were to just stipple dots and then somehow it creates like, an eye or something, you guys would like that? Somehow. Look 
That's a real quick f of an eye, but you guys would act actually watch that happen? If I just stippled docs, dots for hours and hours and hours to create a picture? Yeah? I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't hurt to try. Maybe for, uh, for Evie Pele, since she followed me. All right, let's get back. So I think I want to focus on the nose again. Oh no, what was it? No, 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 I was doing this. See how easily one can get distracted. Uh, blocking in some fur indications. Brindle fur indications. You were watching anime and got distracted by someone drawing? Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you uh, found me and got distracted. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Thanks for saying hi, Evie Play. Do you draw anime, Evie Play? I feel like a lot of people love to watch other people draw anime. Is that something you would like me to draw as well? I always wanted to learn how to draw anime. So, most of the forehead is highlighted. But I just wanted to block in some of these darker fur textures. Let's, uh, ooh. See, sometimes you make boobies, boob, boobies, boo boos, and, uh, and now uh, you can fix it. Oh, my. <laughs> It's cool to watch I barely draw myself unless it's part of a presentation for something I'm working on. Ah, oh, that's cool. Evie. What do you do, Evie? Creating some uh, indentations. Jay, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> of course you caught that, Jay. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So 
I'm gonna create an outline of some dark fur, not too much, not too much. want to have some closure on this form. We're going to put a background um, for this drawing. So I just want to see that face, the edge of that face there. That, that'll help me later. Marketing for an alcohol company. Oh, very cool. Can you say what company or is it a secret, Evie? Is sure of a pick drawing so realistic and why only four views? Oh, hi, Smiley. Yeah, I'm new, I'm new to, to Twitch, guys. So I'm still learning the platform and getting to know everybody. So I don't know, maybe you guys can share, I don't know. Quick story, I drew a tattoo in Roman numeral of 12, 21, 13, and the day my granddad passed, I got a tattoo last year on my forearm in Today is 12.21. Oh, wow, look at that, Jay. Yeah, sorry about your granddad. Yeah. That's a nice uh, memorial for him, your tattoo. I'm sure he's watching you as you draw. Okay. See, what else, what else? So well, let's continue to work on these wrinkles. We do a few different brands, mostly whiskey and cognac though. Ooh, that's cool. You should check out um, Evie. There's a, one of my uh, family members is on Twitch. He does mostly gaming, but he does Whiskey Wednesdays. His name is Real Tyler, the Real Tyler Kent. Let me see if I could, uh, he does uh, whiskey tastings on Wednesdays. But I like cognac, that, that sounds yummy. <laughs> It's all good in the hood, Jay. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, please check him out. It's he he does some uh, really fun streams on um, his uh, whiskey tastings. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday. He's called Real Tyler Kent, R-E-E-L Tyler Kent. Let's see, um, I'm gonna add here. 
Actually, let me see. I think that's his, uh, I think that's his, um, his twitch. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm trying to look. I want to render more of these wrinkles. There's definitely one here. Again, I'm doing for details one line at a time just to create that texture. Okay, and then there's another one right here. More wrinkles. So here is the nose, the edge of the nose, then there are more wrinkles here. Okay, uh, Ripra, yes, your doggy needs a walk. Definitely take him out for a walk. So his face is definitely coming together. So there is a white marking center of the face. Usually boxers have that. Where is my eraser? Where is my eraser? I need to get rid of these graphite marks. I'm rubbing my fingers on what? Takis? What's that? What is that? Smiley? I don't understand. What is that? Smiley? Please, what are takis? I need to erase some more of these graphite marks I don't need. Thank you for your guidance. in here. Just to make these highlights pop.
chips? What are chips? Like potato chips? I'm I'm so confused, guys. What are you What are you guys telling me? What are you guys says? Saying to me here. Just gonna add a shade of grays here just to make this highlight pop just balance between light and dark that's the main goal yes I'm super young Jay, they're hot chips? Huh? What's hot chips? Spicy, you mean? Like, uh-uh. I'm so confused. I'm still so confused. What is going on, Jay? So now that I see where the shadows fall, or the dark kiss shadows fall, I could add grays to transition the form. You see what I did there? Yeah, you see? Okay, so let's add some grays up here just to indicate the top of the nose. Oh, ta takis, takis, they are hot chips, got it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Jay, for uh, for enlightening me. I don't think I've ever had those hot chips before. Are they good? I like spicy, so I'll probably like them. Rip bra, yes, two o'clock, yes. I will end my stream at two so I can watch you stream, Rip bra. I'm excited. It's almost, yeah, about 30 minutes. Yeah, I actually need a break, so. I gotta remember there's a highlight here of a, a white whisker or just a whisker that's being highlighted. I have to make sure I leave room for that to happen. Don't forget your whiskers, guys. Take the time to render those out. So this area is in shadow. OK. 
Okay. It's pretty good. Mm. Slow moment. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about, Jamie? <laughs> yes, I have many slow moments in my life. It's all good, though. It's all good. Let's see. I want to render the edge of this cheek so we can see some closure on the face. Very light, very light edge because it's mostly brown, light brown around there. Looks like Zoe is a, a more senior dog, so she's getting some grays on her cheeks. All right, Jay, have a good one, man. Have a good one. Take it easy. Hopefully, I'll see you later. Yeah, fix, fix your drawing. Use that fixative. Protect your drawing. Chicken Godman Libra. Libre. Libri. Thank you. That's a very interesting name, Chicken Godman Libri. How are you? <laughs> uh, zoom in to my reference photo because I need to see where all the details are, you know? Where are all the details? You gotta capture these details. There's more shadow up here. I can erase this. Okay. Okay, it's pretty good, pretty good. So Zoe has uh, some paws that's underneath right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's render that out. So add some darks here and there. And she has a white chest. So the shadow. The shadow here is going to be very prominent against that white fur. 
just block that in. Here's one of uh, Zoe's toenails, <laughs> paw nails. <laughs> Just outline that. Okay. Just add a shade of gray. We'll add other tones later. Looks like her paw is under a blanket, but I'm gonna render out her paw to be bigger. So it doesn't look weird. You can, uh, have that artistic license. Can add a shade of black here, black nails with some highlight. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. I just wanted to start it. I want to add more darks. Under the chest. Some of that in there. Hmm. Like whose phone is ringing? Just to find this nose a little bit more.
Okay. Let's see. It's pretty good. Let's define this neck. So I didn't think I would get this far, so I haven't drawn all of my guidelines in yet. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna plug in my light box. Need some, uh, this off so I could see it better. Come on, light box. I need a new light box, guys. Come on, light box. Stay on. So I made these outlines for guides underneath my drawing. I like to block out my main features. my light box would stay on. I think I'm just going to block in the eyes. I want to see two eyes on Zoe. usually like to see a pair of eyes staring back at me while I draw. Box. Stay alive, light box, stay alive. I have about 20 minutes before I end this stream. Okay. Turn this off. I got my guidelines. Turn them back all the lights. You can see what I'm doing. All right, let's uh, finish off this eye, block it in, our first layer. Oh, no, I just broke my pencil. It smells like spray paint. 
What, the fixative, Jay? Yeah, I know. It's very toxic. I hope you spray it outside. Okay, good. Definitely spray outside. I mean, fixative is great to preserve your drawing and to prevent smudging, but it's so toxic. Let's block in the eyes. I usually like to start in the upper eyelids. Outline it. And very, very dark shadows in the corner here. Block that in, pretty please. And then at the bottom, bottom eyelid, block that in. And a tear duct, very dark. Yes, you're very smart, Jay, <laughs> for doing it outside so you don't get poisoned inside your house. Yeah, fixative can really stink up your house if you uh, spray it inside. Yay. Let's see, so let's block in the very dark shadows inside the eye. Make these eyes pop. I want two eyeballs staring at me. Zoe is a very, very cute boxer. She's adorable, the way she's staring at us right now. She definitely has some sass in her, in her expression. So let's do this. Let's define this edge a little bit more. There is a third eyelid in dogs that come up around here. That's the edge of it. Now let's uh, outline the bottom edge of the eye. Just very lightly because it's mostly brown, dark brown. There you go. And Zoe has a very, very strong, stark highlight at the edge right here. So leave that white, please. And let's fill this in a little bit more with a shade of gray. Preserve those highlights, guys. It's so important. And there's actually a little tiny highlight in the corner here. Let's make this bottom eyelid a little bit thicker and darker. And let's fill in 
around the eyes with some texture shown. Let's get some fur in there. Okay, Ripra, your YouTube name is Ripra45. Okay. Let me write that down. Ripra45. All right. Hopefully you're um, setting up. I'll see you in like 10 minutes. How can I wait? adding some fur details, fur textures, here and there, creating this, uh, this boxer mask that usually happens around the eyes. <laughs> Zoe definitely has some attitude or sass. looking up like mommy maybe she was taking a nap let's define this edge around the mask around her eyes There you go, now I can see more of her face. And then there is a very, very dark edge on the side of her face. Block that in. And goes around a little bit. Now you could see more of her cheeks. There is an indication of a whisker here. Just want to add that line just to remind me that it is there. Let's block in the more edge the forehead starting here side of the eye okay cuckoo and there's um more shadows in the neck area block in that area Zoe has, let me zoom out my reference photos. I could see more of her body. Zoe has uh, 
for textures happening around here. Just want to block that in. So dark shadows here, light, highlight, and then more another fold of texture. Highlight again, and then another fold. Okay, that's pretty good. Finish uh, adding some details here around the eyes. Then forehead. Some very dark shadows on the temple. Maybe some wrinkles. I'm really seeing Okay, Rip Bra, I'll see you soon. Really seeing uh, Zoe's features. Cool. Ooh. I made some progress in the last two hours. I love it. Progress is happiness. At least to me. shadow here I can definitely make this wrinkle darker now I, that I know where it falls the structure of the face I'm seeing how the light is landing on her face a little bit more. There's definitely more shadows in here. Block that in. Don't be afraid to go really dark on the shadows, guys. That is key to capturing the light. I say it every time. But it's worth repeating. Because people, people forget. And they need reminding. some indications of black fur on the edge of the eye but it's mostly highlighted so I'm just sporadically adding little tick marks tick 
tick, 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 tick marks of fur just to keep that light. And then it gets a little darker here. Okay. Getting more fur detail up here. Cool. Wow. All right, Zoe. All right. It's coming along, Zoe. Not bad, not bad. I get so much done when I go live, it's kind of crazy. Because I'm held accountable. So I'm at the top of the head here. I just want to block that in. I be, I bought Central. Hello, hi, how are you? Thanks for joining. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Started this drawing about two hours ago and uh, I'm making, making progress. So I'm doing extra well. Made a lot of progress. I actually didn't think I would get this far. Unfortunately, I have to end the live because I need to take a break and I'm going to watch somebody else go live and support them on their live drawing journey. So hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. I'll uh, do my best to go live again tonight to finish or not finish the drawing, but do more of this drawing. Oh, thank you. Uh, I bought Central. I've been an, a full-time artist for three years, but I've been drawing for almost 40 years, so a while. I've been doing art on and off in my life. Thank you. I appreciate that. So there you go. There goes the start of Zoe. It's a yeah, so uh, I think I'm going to stop here, guys. Thanks for uh, showing up, saying hi, chatting with me. I got a lot done. And hopefully I'll see you see some of you later on tonight now we can add some color we're gonna add some color to zoe get more of her features out i bought central bye have a good one thanks for joining hopefully i'll talk to you again soon Guys, I will be back later on tonight, maybe around 6 p.m. I'll be back. Yeah, that's my goal. 6 p.m. I'll be back. Drawing live. Finishing Zoe. See so you. Have a good one. Thanks for following. Thanks for chatting. And I'll see you soon. See you guys soon.